Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Papa Noel, Kris Kringle, Saint Nicholas, whatever you like to call him. Every Christmas Eve, this magical man embarks on an extraordinary journey to deliver presents to children all over the world. All two billion of them, or at least the ones that have been good this year. But how does he manage to do it all in just one night? And how is it that he evades being seen? Is it possible that Santa's sleigh travels through space? And if so, how would that even work? Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu. It's almost Christmas, so let's talk about the physics behind Santa's Express delivery. One of the most endearing mysteries and sources of wonder about Santa Claus is how he manages to deliver presents to children all over the world in just one night. Santa would need to travel at an incredible speed. But how fast is that? Well, there's about 2 billion children in the world, but not all of them celebrate Christmas. So let's say 500 million do. The average number of children in a family is two. So let's say there's 250 million households that need to be visited. But not everyone's been good. So I'm just gonna guess around 200 million households. Santa needs to visit all of these in one night. I know there's different time zones, but for simplicity, we're gonna say he has 24 hours to make all the rounds. And let's assume that these households are evenly distributed around the globe. Then we can approximate the distance between each house by dividing the surface area of the entire earth by the number of households that we have, and then taking the square root. That's 1.6 kilometers and a total distance of 320 million kilometers to travel in total. The speed he'd have to do is the distance divided by the time, which is about 13 million kilometers per hour or about 1% the speed of light. A reindeer's running speed is about 80 kilometers per hour. So even with eight of them, you're not going to cut it. To reach the speed, you'd have to have a propulsion system that is far beyond anything that we currently know exists. And even if such a system existed, it would likely generate a tremendous amount of heat and noise. We have overheat on booster B. But imagine if Santa traveled in space. It would allow him to travel much faster because he wouldn't be traveling through the Earth's atmosphere. So there wouldn't be any air resistance or drag to slow him down. He'd be able to go much quicker and bypass the natural barriers on Earth, like mountains and storms, making his journey so much more smoother and more efficient. But to get Santa's space ready, we have a few things to think about. Firstly, to get into space in the first place, Santa's sleigh needs to be traveling at least the Earth's escape velocity, which is about 40,000 kilometers per hour. So no worries there, he's already traveling at 13 million kilometers per hour anyway. But what kind of propulsion system could get him to this speed? Well, maybe nuclear power. Nuclear power. It could be powered by a nuclear reactor, as these are very efficient at converting fuel into energy. The Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket, VASMIR, was designed specifically to fly with an engine that uses nuclear reactors to heat plasma to 2 million degrees. The hot gas is then channeled with magnetic fields out of the back of the engine to propel it. In theory, it could reach speeds of up to 200,000 kilometers per hour. This is much less than what's actually required, so we still have to figure that one out but maybe we could have a compact fusion reactor, or even better, a warp drive, or a wormhole bending space-time itself to enable Santa to jump vast distances in a blink. The sleigh would have to undergo some significant changes to operate in the vacuum and space. So sealed airtight to prevent decompression, and made out of something strong and lightweight materials such as carbon fiber or aluminum. You'd also need a pretty decent heat shield to protect from the extreme temperatures of space and the heat on re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. 
Traveling through space is thought with dangers like asteroids and space debris. Santa'd have to dodge satellites and space junk, so it would probably have to be equipped with a high-tech radar system that scans the area around the sleigh and warns Santa of any potential hazards. Santa could then maneuver the sleigh to avoid these hazards, or even better, it could use AI-driven technology to automatically dodge clear these incoming objects. It could also come in pretty useful for keeping out of sight of humans and parents and children to stop being detected. And then lastly, the reindeer probably won't fare well in the vacuum of deep space. I mean, maybe you could give them a space helmet or even a space suit, but what if they're not real at all? Maybe instead they're advanced AI holograms. I mean, who's ever seen a red-nosed reindeer anyway? So there you have it. Santa is probably making his deliveries from space with his high-tech spacecraft and holographic reindeer. At least that's what I think. Let me know down below how you think the old man makes all of his deliveries. As you gaze up at the starlit sky this holiday season, remember the magic of Christmas and the wonders of space are not that far away from each other. In the end, they both bring us closer to the stars, whether through the lens of a telescope or the twinkle of Santa's sleigh. That's all for this week's video. I'd like to thank my YouTube Perks members for sponsoring this video. As usual, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.